Do you want to know the best method to earn gold in Safe Seas? If so, then watch this video because I'll be covering the number one method which will earn you the most possible gold. Safe Seas allows you to explore the world, do quests, and earn gold, eliminating the threat of losing your loot. So the first thing you're going to want to do for this method is try and get a spawn at Plunder Outpost. You can do this by leave and rejoining the game until your pirate spawns at Plunder. If this is taking too long and you don't get a spawn, just sail over from whichever outpost you're at. Going to Plunder allows us to get the most gold per hour as it's located with the two sea forts that we're going to use for this method. Okay, so once at plunder, head over to the fortress to the south. When arrived, make sure you repair any holes made by the fort when you were sailing in, as losing your boat will be a huge time waster to get it back. Then head over to the armory and equip a sword and pistol, as this is the best combo for killing the phantoms at the ghost fort. Now head over to the fort and start eliminating all ghosts as quickly as possible. While you're fighting, keep an eye out for a hidden storeroom key, which will unlock a room at the top of the fort which gives a small amount of loot. The key can spawn in any chest or closet around the fort. However, it does have a higher chance to spawn within the two top layers of the fort, so I would check those first before the rest of the fort. Keep defeating round after round until the boss spawns. You know who spawned because he's the phantom with the hat on and the name above his head. The fastest way that you can eliminate him is by grabbing one of the many kegs which are located around the fort, as these should one hit him. Just be careful not to get too closed. Once the boss has been taken down, grab the key and go to the lowest level of the fort, to the locked door. Once open, you'll be met with the treasure. Grab the loot piece by piece and place it in a spot to be harpooned. I place it in this spot here as I believe it's the fastest, but anyway will work fine. Once you've gathered all of the loot and placed and harpooned it to your boat, you can now sail to this sea fort shown on the map. Once you're there, you can repeat the same steps again on this fort as it's the exact same. Once you're all looted up with this fort, you can now head back to the original fort as due to being out of its render distance and a certain time has passed, the fort has fully refreshed and it can be completed once again. You can sail between these forts as many times as you want, completing them over and over depending on how much time you have and how much gold you're planning on making. There's really no limit. Once you think you've got enough treasure, sail to the nearest outpost which should be plunder and on the way over, if you want, you can place the loot on the nose of the boat as it makes selling a lot easier. Then sell all loot to the respected selling location and you're done. Make sure to keep in mind that safe seas, while having no players, will limit your gold earnings by a mile and you'll only receive 30% of rewards. So unless you're a brand new player just trying to buy a new hat, I'd recommend just jumping into high seas and having a bit of risk. Plus PvP is one of the best things about Sea of Thieves. So don't be afraid of it, give it a try, you'll have fun, trust me. If this method helped you out, subscribers, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. Yeah, see you later.